Hey guys, what's up? Looking on this Dino. Here again for some more Ocarina of Time. Like totally. Like oh my god, okay, I'll sign it. In the last part we got pretty much the only sig significant thing we did was get some golden skull time. Or however you call it call it skull tula. And here we have Goma Larva. They die in two shots, or if you can manage to get one in one jump shot. And they come from the ceiling. Yeah, you can manage just to do that and just kill them in one shot. It'll make it a whole lot easier. Okay. And now let's continue on. You need a stick, so that's why I defeated the Boca, or the Bubba, Boca, or Boca Bubba, or whatever it's called. I'm not good with that. I'm not really good with Zelda names. Alright, burn that down. Save your stick. You're may want to. You're probably gonna need it later. Yo, in the hole. In the hole. Yeah, that's what she said or he said or whoever said. That's what I said actually. Damn. Stab in the face. Stab. Awesome. Hopefully this comes out well. I'm just gonna say screw it if it doesn't come out too well because I'm using Cantasia. And it might be a little laggy. Oh no fucking way. Seriously, I jumped off. Okay, okay, I'm gonna be right back after I do that whole thing again. Okay, I'm back after suffering going all the way around again. Okay, this time, do not forget. If you jumped off like I did, which you probably didn't, because you're not a complete moron like I am, you want to push this and not jump off until it's fully all the way to the ground. Chop this guy. I got a couple sticks from coming from here to there. Die. And I believe this guy will always respawn to give you sticks. See, there's a little plant left. Okay, but anyways, you're not fooling around. Let's go down there and get, like... Let's go down there and get the fire we need. It's the only place you can get fire, so you're gonna have to be quick about it. And just jump there. Climb. Climb. Tuck and roll, tuck and roll, tuck and roll, save your stick if you want to, I guess. And get some hearts down here. Alright, doing good so far. That's great, that's great. And we're going to continue on here. And if I remember the order is this guy first. This guy second. Come on, come on, come on, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. And Sky. Alright. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. Wait, what the f- you're, you're getting angry, so you're revealing a secret to us? Wow, dude, you're nice. Your, your queen's totally not going to fry you for that, you know. Your ass isn't totally doomed. But whatever. Secret away. In order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. I'll get into more facts about that. Oh, Queenie, sorry about that. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Get that heart. It's Queen Goma time. And there's a dark, ominous room. Quiet. Too quiet. Holy crap! Okay. Something's moving around, but where? Where? Where is it? What? Isn't there supposed to be like a boss here or something that... Wait, what the fuck is that? 
What the fuck is that? Why does it have a division sign for a pupil? Oh my god, it's the boss! That's right, this is Goma! Goma's actually creepier in person. Crap. Ah, yeah, second roll! Alright, you want to shoot her with the face while her eyes red and... Pull on a Deku stick! Whip her with it! You must whip it. Damn it, too slow. Alright, if she goes up to the ceiling, you want to keep Z-targeting on her. Don't you dare take Z-targeting off of her for one minute, man. You will regret it. Okay, boss, well, she's on the ceiling and her eye turns red again. Shoot her in the face. Whip out your sword. And forward A attack. And she is done. Another way to stun her while she's on the ground is Deku Nets. But anyways, she is done. It's done, because I'm not sure if it's a she or an it. Or a he. Or an it. It's probably an it. Just like a snail, because snails are neither uh, he or she. Snails are bisexual. Ooh, a heart. You know, I wonder if that's how our hearts look like on the inside. My heart's pre. <laughs> you got the heart container! Your life, your maximum life energy is increased by one heart. Your energy will be totally filled. Totally, dude. But anyways, I've always wondered, where does Link keep these heart containers? I mean, does, doesn't every person have, like, one heart? And pretty much, you will get one heart, and Link has four, so that's... that's the, how does that work out? <laughs> Zelda logic. And we get an episode shot of Link. We can see right up them shorts, or tunic. Well done, friend, man. Hey, it's Mario Tree. He's got the mustache. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that that would thus would be able to carry out my wishes. Okie dokie. Now I have yet more to tell you. What does thou listen? Okay, we're going to save this for the next part, because I probably won't have enough time, so... In the next part, we'll catch up with the more Legend of Zelda, and hopefully the Deku Tree, or Mario Tree, will tell us the story. See you guys later.